Yep, yep. Good evening, everyone, wherever you're joining us from. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and wherever it is that you may will be watching this replay, all right, of this video. I want to say a very special welcome to everyone. Thank you so much for honoring the invitation to join us in this very short webinar. I promise you it's going to be 30 minutes or a little bit above 30 minutes. Um, but of course, we have opportunity to ask questions for those of us that are joining live. But for those that we were watching the recording, sorry. <laughs> well, you can actually drop your question in the comments um, on here on YouTube, and then hopefully we'll get to respond accordingly. So our topic today is 10 principles for reaching your next level. Now, what actually informed um, my having to put together this webinar is because of things happening in our clients, especially for those of us in Nigeria. If you're happening to watch this in other parts of the world, yes, sincerely, across the economies of the world, we have a lot of challenges going on right now. And one thing I realized is that there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of apprehension happening around, and it seems as though everywhere is bleak. It seems as though, oh, are we going to get over this, you know? And, and then I thought deeply, and um, yes, I can't deny God's grace, his mercy, his faithfulness, and all those things, being connected to supernatural source. But one thing I discovered was, or is, in the midst of everything that is happening, I realized that, you know, my own personal economy has grown, you know, it, it's not it's not saying that I have everything that I need, but then, or I have everything that I want. Let me put it that, that way. But then, I mean, business is, is, is moving at a pace where I can't deny the fact that, you know, for my personal economy and for the company, economy of the company which I lead and run, I'm not experiencing as much as, you know, the noise, the negativity around, happening around. And then I thought deeply that what could be responsible for these factors. And one of the things I discovered is we all have to keep growing so that we can grow faster than inflation. If you get that, I want you to put it in the chat room. We all should focus on growing our capacity so much so that, you know, um, we can then begin to expand and extend and get better at whatever it is we do. When our rate of personal growth supersedes the rate of inflation, what we'll discover is that we will continue to reach higher levels in which we won't get stranded, in which we can always rise above inflation level. And that has been fantastic. Thank you so much, my dear sister, Demitokwe. And that is what has actually happened to me. And I felt, oh no, I don't want to keep this to myself, right? I would love to share this with as many people that are within my network as possible. So sincerely, I am so excited for everyone that on this live session. Why? Because you're gonna have opportunity to ask me questions, unlike the people that will have to watch the replay. And I just felt so grateful to God. And while I was giving my gratitude, you know, that thing occurred to me that you have people in your network. Remember, you are not living for yourself. You are living for a lot of other people. You are living to show other people the way. And so I tried to put a word around it. And what I could come up with was 10 principles for reaching your next level. And I had to look in word and talk through what were the things I did prior to now, such that even now that everything has gone up, I am still able to, you know, fly above everything happening in my in my in my surroundings. I'm not denying the fact that everyone as a nation is affected, and one way or the other, probably I'll, I'll have been a lot more wealthier, <laughs> if not for the inflation. But I am not under. I am not, you know, and the company that I lead, we are not going through the stress as much as the noise out there. And so that's what I'm going to be sharing with us this evening. Okay, so I don't want to assume that everyone on this call has, has, has met me or, you know, because we actually extended this invitation to some new people. 
So if you are joining for the first time or you are getting to hear me for the first time, I'd like to know in the chat room if this is your first time of having, you know, to hear me for the I would like to meet you. That would be exceptional. But I know uh, most of my mentees are actually on the call. Okay, so who am I and why should you listen to me? I am a competent season consultant. I'm a certified leadership coach and mentor. And of course, a business leader. I, I currently lead and I founded Coscos Transformational uh, Academy Limited. Uh, I have my doctorate in professional planning and management. Um, let me talk about, please. I'm going to make you the co host so that um, you can help me with muting participants that are disturbing. Okay, so I've done that right away. So please help with that. Thank you, Derry. I'm very grateful. So, as I was saying, I am actually. I have a doctorate degree in educational planning and management from Provost University, and I currently serve as a senior special assistant to the Director General at the Chartered Institute of Mentoring and Coaching in Nigeria. I'm a fellow member, which is the highest level or in um, the cadre of association with Chartered Institute of Mentoring and Coaching, international management consultant, and also a member of the Pan Africa Consultant. Association. I'm an author of 20 books and I also serve as the brand ambassador to four educational, sorry, three educational, para educational companies. And I currently, January this year, I took up the appointment to be the training and direct development lead at Equip Nigeria. I'm a wife and a mother of two young astonishing kids. So that's me in a nutshell. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I am very grateful. Yes. So let's dive straight in into our conversation tonight. And I'm sure this is going to be an insightful time. So the first principle I'm going to be sharing with us is that we need to think and plan with peace, right? The first principle is you need to think and plan with peace. Now, I'm going to be sharing a lot of my personal stories, like I, like I mentioned at the beginning of this program. Well, <laughs> this um, webinar, but one of the reasons why I decided to do this was to actually share some of the things that would help us to live above inflation and to overcome a lot of setbacks we are going through in our economy. So I remember when I was um, in the university, I remember, in fact, prior to then, yes, but my second year university was a very landmark experience. That was the point in which I got to, and I started asking myself the question, why am I here? Who am I really? And what do I want to be in my life? Prior to now, I wanted to become a lot of things, <laughs> of course, because I, I wasn't, I didn't really have a different direction of people's sense of who I was. But then when I got to second year university, I read a book uh, called The Purpose Driven Life, and that book radically transformed my life. If you would like to have a copy of the ebook, please um, let me know. Or better still, I'll share it on the two groups where I have um, my major tribe members. So you can always access the ebook. And that book, it's a 40-day devotional and it literally changed my life. And it was at that point I came to discover who I was, what I was designed to do. And then I just picked up that courage and started running this direction. So I was able to think and plan. And then sometimes when I was 30, I attended a program. Um, it's called Fill, Fill Your Hustle. And um, what's his name? The Catalyst. That's uh, Olushola. I can't remember his second name now. Can somebody help me in the chat? <laughs> you know, The Catalyst anyway. Um, that's his brand name. Larry Olushola. Tai Olushola, yes. I know, yes. So, and he, yes, thank you. So, um, Larry Olushola, yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Um, and he, he shared with us about the long term perspective and he asked us to sit down and write what our 40th, no, what our 70th birthday morning would look like. And as at that time, that simply means planning the next four years of my life. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> and then by the time I sat down, by the way, I've also designed a template. I think it's about 1,500. Uh, sorry, 2000. If you'd like to get that, 
And I sat down with that template and it took me three solid weeks to do that thing. I thought it was child's play. But you know what thing it helped me to do? It helped me to think far ahead. And the law of long-term perspective states that the farther you can think, the faster you get there. So when I say think and plan with speed, this is a principle that I've practiced personally and sincerely. I will tell you without doubt that it is one of the secrets to me being able to do a lot that I'm doing today. Yes, um, a lot of things will come along the way, challenges, life happens, right? But the difference it's going to make with someone that does not plan a long term is you get easily distracted, you get easily perturbed, like what is happening right now. And, you know, I just sat down and I realized that, come on, my business and my personal economy is growing faster than everything that is happening in the world economy. And so that is why I've decided to share this with you. So the first principle is think and plan with speed. Remember, I did not say think and plan. I had to put with speed. So what I would encourage you to do is after this webinar, you may want to request to get that um, templates on planning for the next 40 years of your life. You may think 40 years is far. <laughs> I remember seeing my 10th, 10th birthday picture and I was like, wow, I could remember vividly how that day was, how the color party went, what happened. And that was, tech. that was me 30 years ago, whooping 30 years ago. And everything seemed like yesterday. Now, the second principle that I was able to practice that helped me was to start with speed. Remember I told you about the story of when I was in my second year in university and when I discovered who I was. Now, what did I do? I just took on the pattern and I started running. I started running because I was able to get clarity. I was able to know where I was going. I was able to know what I was wired to do. With the acronym shape, it had to do with my spiritual giftings, my heart, the things that my heart yearns for, like what I'm doing right now that I can do for free, <laughs> okay? Um, my abilities, what they were, and then I was able to also dig, dig very deep into my personality, why I'm wired the way I am, and I do things the way I do them, and finally, my experience, both the good, the bad, the ugly. So you will get to learn more about the shape in that ebook that I'll be sharing with you guys, and it is, it just got me started. So what did I do immediately? I discovered my shape. I started doing things that others at my age at that time were not willing to do. And also remember that I started planning long term. I started thinking about now that I'm in this education space, how will I not be like an ordinary what is the, what are those things I need to do to make me an exceptional educator? I knew that I needed to get my master's degree immediately. So what I did was that while my mates were still serving, you know, I finished on a Friday. On a Monday, I started my master's program, <laughs> right? And while I had written all these things down, the year I wanted to get married, the, day, the time I wanted to have my kids, and sincerely, everything played out the way I wanted it. And I knew that after my master's program, you know, it's going to give me that leverage to get into the organization, you know, as a top professional, not just an night professional. And by the way, my mom has two schools, so I've gathered a, a lot of classroom experience and continuous professional development. Even while I was a student, I was already going for trainings around education. And so I had a wider perspective. I remember doing my first online course way back in the year 2000 with a school in, in Australia. And I, that was where I got to my certificates in early years. If I remember way back then when internet and laptop and online trainings were not so um, common. So I started with speed. And that's my second encouragement to us this evening. Now, the third thing I did was to execute. I knew that. Okay, so it's not just enough for me to say I want to start, you know. A lot of us, we, we, some of us have planned, all right, but then there's something called analysis paralysis. We keep planning and planning and planning and planning and planning, <laughs> and we never execute, okay. But I started executing. So, yes, to cut the long story short, I finished my master's program, and then I got married the following year, and then 
as I as I had forecasted, I got into, you know, <laughs> I got into them talk where I found. I got into the system of having to lead in a school, and then of course from one school to another, I was a leader cutting across the two schools. And I just knew that I wasn't going to do this for a very long time. So exactly 2012, I started running trainings in my local school where I was leading. And then another thing that I did that was very, very instrumental was to start building my brand on social media. So since 2012, right, um, I started working on sharing the content valuable content on social media. And so what you see today has been execution, consistent execution. I shared on my status, I think sometimes last week, my picture 10 years ago, precisely 10 years ago, when I was holding, I think the second or the third physical training, which was free as at that time, you know, when I got started. So let's move on. The next thing is fail with speed. Now, I tell people that <laughs> social media is very interesting because people get to see the success story. And when I share with some people that walk up to me to say, oh, I, I, I love the fact that you're you are a high flyer, you're always doing this, you're always doing that. And I tell them that my failure rate is actually doubles my success. I mean, I have held webinars where I made huge losses. I've had webinars where I could only break even. I've held webinars where I couldn't even, <laughs> the money that came in wasn't even 10% of the money I put in. Now, but what I decided to do was to see the failure as a learning experience, right? I decided to make sure that every time I fail, I failed positively, I failed forward. Not to, not to remove the fact that <laughs> there were times I didn't feel bad, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I mean, I, what does it look like to lose <laughs> a whole lot of money that you have worked hard for from getting success from somewhere else, putting into another venture? But that helped me to reduce, I, it helped me to build my failure quotient and in turn, my success quotient because I became a lot more confident because I have tried a lot of things and I have failed at it. And what that has taught me was how not to do those things, you know, Decided to know how to do those things better and how not to do those things the way I did them before. Okay, so you need to see failure as a tool. If you hear me, if you heard me right, please type in the comment section. <laughs> you need to see failure as a tool because a lot of us in this climate and at this time, we feel that failure is something that we should totally avoid. No, in fact, I'm always excited if when I fail right now because I know that. I mean, yes, thank you so much, Toby, because I know that the failures that I've experienced have helped me to become a lot better. Okay, so now let's look at the fifth principle. The fifth principle school says, learn with speed. Oh God. Now, the beautiful thing about learning with speed is learning the right thing with speed. Remember what I said that I was able to do a lot of things, know a lot about myself through my shape, and through the things that I've learned. Thank you so much, um, Tim Tokwe. Thank you, patience. <laughs> Thank you, Essay. Thank you, Josephine. Also, I can see you people are following with the class. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited. I, I, I will have done a recording, but I thought, let me do a live session so that people can ask questions after the recording. So the next thing I would like to say is learn with speed. I mean, remember what I said that I had, you know, um, discovered a lot of things about myself. So please, not every training or not every personal development or not every webinar is for you. You need to also get to a point where you know that you have outgrown some training because time can never be gotten back. Once spent, it is gone. So you have to be circumspect to know what are those things you need to learn with speed because you don't also want to learn the wrong things with speed. <laughs> that is a disaster, right? So I was able to discover that I had four top gifts, which are education, teaching, teaching what I'm doing now, leadership, um, teaching leadership. I also discovered that I had a gift of, of exaltation, which has led me into mentoring and of course administration. 
So every kind of learning I was doing was around this. And I realized that I needed business skills to be able to succeed and get well remunerated around my gift. So that was where going ahead to get my certification as a business consultant came to play. So you want to make sure that whatever it is you are learning with you is around your core areas of strength, is around your core areas of talent, is around your core areas of gifting, is around your core area of where you don't struggle. So we are, I'm sure most of us on this call have heard about the acronym SWOT, which is strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and trends. So what do you do to your strength? You strengthen your strength. Why? Because this is an area in which you work. I mean, you are like a computer. So whatever you do, whatever little effort you put into it, it gets enlarged, it gets skyrocket. okay? What do you do to your weaknesses? You delegate it. Why? Because someone else's weaknesses is your strength. Someone else's strength is your weakness. So why don't you give someone that loves you? So one of the examples I'm going to be giving you is, don't let anybody hear. <laughs> you don't really like being in the kitchen. <laughs> but then, so what do I do? I got someone that could do that very well. She goes to the market, you know, get to buy them, you know, spend a whole day in my house cooking them and pack them in different packs. So I've delegated that. So what that does for me is it affords me time to do the things that I love. It affords me time to make more money to hire her. <laughs> okay. So when you get to do this, it's fantastic. What do you do to your opportunities? You maximize them. Yes, opportunity comes and goes. Please never believe that statement that opportunity comes once. Please, it is, it is, it is, it is wrong. Opportunities always come. But what you want to do is that when they come, you don't just let them go. You try as much as possible to maximize them. What do you do to your threats? You avoid it because your threats can take you out and can take your life. So I think I've said enough on this fifth principle. Now let's move on. The sixth principle is succeed with speed. As a matter of fact, failing with speed will also help you succeed with speed because if at the same rate of failure that you are, uh, you are undergoing, what happens is, yes, what happens is when you succeed with speech, you discover that <laughs> people will look at you and wonder, how old are you? I remember when I clocked 40 last year, a lot of people came into my inbox that they thought, I mean, I was way older than that because of the amount of things that by the grace of God, right? And of course, me playing my part, I've been able to do, you know, and um, someone else also clocked 40 recently. Um, he's a well-known person in our time. A lot of people were like, oh, wow, really? Uh, so is, is that um, young? Okay. I mean, I, I got to meet a 29-old year old friend. And sincerely, the guy charges 500000 for his training. <laughs> Two days physical training. So, I mean, I had to. So in succeeding with speed, you need to look for the right people that are already succeeding and um, move closer to them. I'm going to talk more about that. Okay. Um, this is very important because you don't also have all the time. You know, um, my favorite book says that you should carry your yoke while you're young because you may think that you have a whole year ahead of you, <laughs> but my dear people, your time is running very fast and you get to a time where you won't have the physical strength to do the things that you would love to do. You may not even have the mental strength. You may not even have the, um, uh, what do they call it now? The stamina, yes, that's the word, to get to do what you really need to do. So this is actually very important. Yes, and then you also want to expand with speed. You want to expand with speed. Now, one of the things that I have tried to do is, yes, Felicia, look for those that are succeeding and move closer to them. Our people will say, follow who no road. <laughs> you need to expand with speed. Now, success is about you, but significance is about others. I'm going to repeat that statement. And if you heard me, please type in the chat section. Success is about you. Significance is about others. And the best way in which you have to expand is, if you're already doing quite well, I want to encourage you on this call to begin to build a community. Begin to build a community of people you want to pour into. Now, this is, the, this is because, uh, like I said, yes, fantastic, Emeta, exactly. Success is about you, significance is about others. Thank you, Toby. Thank you for your show. 
awesome. I can see you ladies are following me happily. You need to expand your spin. And the best way to expand is begin to pour yourself into people, especially people that have shown some level of commitment of, for growth. Because you don't also want to waste <laughs> your time, your resources, your energy, your acumen, your understanding, your knowledge about things. You don't also want to waste it on people that are not, that do not appreciate it. So you may need to begin to look for people that are willing and ready to invest in themselves and begin to pour into those people. Like I'm doing to you ladies this day, all right? I hope we have guys. Begin to build communities. And thank God for the virtual world, right? You need to begin to build communities where you can share this knowledge. Now, that is what is going to keep you being relevant, even after your so-called time is no more, okay? You will keep being relevant. And what happens is this, when, when these people go ahead to build other people, they can always accrue their success, even if they don't do that. So the fact that you were a very significant part of their goals, even if they don't do that, you will have done that and you have done it for them, right? And I used to tell people that the only way a football coach will not go back to the pitch where he coached people to pay is for him to mentor others before he leaves the pitch. So you want to be a kind of person that wants to start coaching and mentoring people around you, people that have shown commitment. Remember, not just anybody, but people that have shown commitment either financially, either with their level of seriousness, either with, their, with the kind of questions they ask you, either, you know, so whichever way they've shown commitment, expand yourself to those networks. Now, the next thing you want to do is end with speed. People, <laughs> you need to learn how to end with speed. And the best way you can end with speed is to earn by, number one, getting to know what your strengths are. I don't feel like I work because I love work. <laughs> right? That is one way, though, to end with speed. You don't necessarily have to end through your cashier. Another way to end with speed is identify prevalent problems. Carry out your master's research. Is there a market for the business? And is there a business for the market? Okay? Is there a market for your business? And is there a business for your market? So <laughs> you can type that in the chat box if you heard me right. So that is another way you can end with speed. Another way you can end with speed is solve problems for people. Let me shock you. Another way you can end with speed is by volunteering your gifts. And you do it so well. You, you are so relevant that you cannot be ignored. Because what in volunteering has helped me to do is to expand my network. Yes. Yeah beyond where I can never emerge. There's some places that I, I enter today and I'm like, God, this is only you. And he, and, he, and he keeps telling me that, no, service is the shortcut to success. All right? Yes. So you need to learn to end with speed. Sincerely, I don't even need to overflow this. We all know what our economy is saying. <laughs> Between 2022 and 2023, is like we have lived 10 years in one, in eight months, seven months, sorry, I'm already in August. <laughs> it's as if we have lived 10 years in eight months. So how do you get them to pay? We will get to that when we get to the Q&A session, okay? <laughs> so that's it. All right. Now let's move on. Another thing you want to do is reinvent with speed. We're already on the ninth principle. I told you, it's not going to be long. <laughs> you need to reinvent with, with speed. Why do you need to reinvent? You need to reinvent because our world is not static. You need to reinvent because we wake up virtually every day in our client with breaking news. <laughs> so on a lighter mode, I hope <laughs> someone says we have a bat and a rat, you know, in the high places in our nation. And when you have a bat and a rat <laughs> leading you, they are most active at night. So you wake up to see breaking. That's on a lighter mode. If you get that joke, well, good for you. If you didn't, it's okay. So we need to reinvent with speed because competitors are not waiting. 
you need to reinvent your speed because some people are waiting to just keep copying what you do. Hereta, <laughs> Hereta, you got that also. For someone like me, I'm a pioneer in this business. And I noticed that when I do something, people will just try to recolor it and follow suit. But I am not with it at all because while they are trying to copy, I've moved on to 1001 for now. So it is very important for you to reinvent with um, speed. And what do you do? Read books, attend webinars like this, attend courses, pay for coaching and mentoring sessions. Guys, I tell you, it's just like standing on the shoulder of the person that has gone ahead of you. You can imagine how far, how fast, and how exceptional that you would go as to just being on your own, okay? And so lastly, replicate with speed. How can you replicate with speed? You can replicate with speed by, you know, this is a picture of a cell replicating itself in, how will I put it now? As fast as possible, okay? So more than ever, you need to have a grander vision. You need to have a vision that is bigger than yours. You need to have a vision that people will want to be a part of. And in such a way that you are always, needed. Yes, Marisha, you need to replicate with speed. You are always needed. You are always relevant. You are always sought after. You are always um, in the markets. Okay. And how do you replicate with speed? You need to also position yourself to coach, mentor, be a role model, and show others what is possible. Don't go away. I have a bonus one for you. Very, very important one, a bonus one. But before I share the bonus session, I hope I've been making sense so far. If I have, I want to see MS, MS, MS in the chat room to be sure that I have been making sense and your Monday evening is not a waste. <laughs> it's not a waste. Awesome, awesome people. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, MS, MS. <laughs> so this is serious. Okay, having said that, I want to let us in on a six weeks mentoring program uh, that we're going to be running. It's a lot that you're going to be learning. Remember, I kept saying with speed, with speed, with speed. Unfortunately, if you do all these things with speed and imagine doing all these things with speed in the wrong direction. What will it look like? Please, I need you to comment in the chat. <laughs> so you have been doing everything I've been saying with speed, with speed, with speed. I mean, you have been thinking with speed, without direction. You have started with speed, without direction. You have executed with speed, with no direction. You are failing with speed, with no direction. You are learning with speed, Learning everything with speed, <laughs> but in the wrong direction. <laughs> of course, you can't succeed, or even you are succeeding, but you are not living a significant and fulfilling life. Um, you won't even earn with speed because if you don't have direction, you're gonna have struggle and earning. Like Timmy Tokwe asks that, how how will they pay? <laughs> and then you are reinventing with speed with no direction. Imagine what it will look like. So let me see what's in here. You can't hear me again. Ah, no, for sure, it must be your device. Yes, thank you, Joseph. Joseph says that, Josephine, sorry, says that it will be a wasted effort. Toby says disaster. <laughs> yes, a waste of effort. In fact, you will be frustrated. And that leads me to our first skills in mentoring 19.0. Now, let me tell you, in fact, I have some people on the waiting list on this call. Let me tell you, and I've had people that have mentored on this call. Let me tell you one significant thing about this program. Um, I think... Since 2017, we started and we've had close to about 100 mentees. There is, we have a psychometric test that um, contains 10 different types of tests for you to discover yourself. 
uh, you're going to be learning how to set smarter goals. I know a lot of us know about smart goals, but ER has been added. <laughs> and so aside from that, you're going to learn how to lead yourself, personal leadership skills, and then leadership development skills. So remember what I said that to replicate yourself, you have to be able to lead others, coach others, mentor others. And then you're going to be learning how to read strategically and review whatever it is you've read. You're going to get access to some of our online courses, and then you are going to learn how networking skills and how to also communicate. Now, networking skills is so key. Why? Because it's not enough for you to be very intelligent, have a high IQ. Your net worth is not even equal to your net worth. Your net worth, your network is more, gives you more <laughs> than your net worth. Telling you, and like like I said, one of the ways to to live above this economy is to have the right kind of association above you. Those are mentor coaches, all right. And what these people do is they give you direction, stand on your shoulders, they help you to move with speed that you desire. You need to also know how to, you know, um, relate with people that are on your level. Now they say the people at the lower K that compete. But the people on the higher level, they collaborate. <laughs> I've tasted both worlds and it's so real. When I move up in my life and in my business, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, collaboration has taken me to places I would never, I have earned in millions through collaborations I've never talked about. So, and you need to also learn from the people that are coming up, supporting it, especially the digital natives we are the digital migrants right so they will help you with technology help you with trends help you to stay relevant when you mentor them they would you know at a point when you no longer have the physical energy to run around they will lay their life literally down for you okay and then you're going to get an electronic certificate for this so this investment is worth 120 thousand. well the good thing is that we are given 50 percent off and i think for if you can make the first installment payment today, it can actually give you a discount of 50,000 naira. So instead of paying 60, we take 10,000 naira off. But if you're paying tomorrow, you're going to pay 60. Of course, the program is starting 1st of August and it's going to run till 15th of September. So what we want to do with this program, and you can pay in two installments as well. Okay, um, so you can screenshot this page. There's a waiting list. And this WhatsApp link is for the waiting list, or you can call our admin on this number, or you can reach out to me personally. I guess virtually all of us on this call have my personal number. I have been the one sharing one hour, 30 minutes, and sharing the Zoom link for us to join it. So you can actually reach out to me, um, and then let's get to take it on from there. Remember I said I have a last bonus for you, so you want to stay till the end of the call. All right, so let's move on. And then once I'm done with the last one, we'll have opportunity to ask questions. So you may want to screenshot this page as well. Um, this is where you can get my contact number. This is our website. You can send me an email. You can connect with me on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We have two Facebook communities. The first one being Educational Leadership and Mentoring Academy. Then second um, community is the Education Consultants Hub. And lastly, yay, you need to celebrate your success and progress. This is very key. While you are doing everything with speed, you need to take time to pause, enjoy the moment, celebrate yourself, be happy with yourself, you know, just be your number one cheerleader. Basically. What this does is it helps you to keep being inspirational, it helps you keep, to keep being motivated, it helps you to Take time to enjoy your hard work. God forbid that after you have done everything with speed <laughs> and you have moved to the next level, that is your enemy or people that do not work for it that will enjoy everything that you have worked for. Okay, so that is where we're going to be ending the webinar. Like I said, these are my contact details. And then we look forward to seeing you enjoying the program. So by the way, we're going to share this video on our YouTube channel. So if you want to, for those that came in late or for those that, um, didn't catch up with the live session, you can always watch it. Please don't drop a comment on our YouTube channel. Let us know that you watch this replay. Let us also know what is that one thing, two, three, four things that resonated with you. So I'm going to just run through the nine principles again 
so that we can just have an idea of it and then that will be all for today. Then I'll go straight to the question and answers. So the first principle, once again, like I said, is think and plan with speed. The second is start with speed. The third is execute with speed. The fourth is deal with speed. The fifth is to learn with speed. The sixth is succeed with speed. The seventh is expand with speed. The eighth is end with speed. The ninth is reinvent with speed. The tenth is replicate with speed. So once again, we look forward to you joining us. And remember to follow us on all our social media handles. This is where I'll be stopping the recording. Next time, remember to join our live session because, hey, people on the live session will have the opportunity to ask questions before we close for the day. Once again, it's Dr. Cohen Sami Mehelu, and it's been a privilege to serve you this day. Kindly watch, comment, like, subscribe, and share to our YouTube channel. Thank you once again for watching. Bye for now.